Today we've got some crazy stuff to talk about. We're diving into the whole Israel-Hamas conflict, but with a twist we're looking at how hacker groups are getting in on the action. So, picture this, it all started over the weekend when things went absolutely bonkers in the Israel-Hamas showdown. Hamas went all out, launching a massive attack on Israel. They fired thousands of rockets and even sent their fighters down to the southern part of the country. It was intense, and sadly, it's not a game people lost their lives, and thousands got hurt on both sides. But here's the wild part, it's not just traditional warfare anymore. We've got state-sponsored hackers working behind the scenes, and also some hacktivist groups who've decided to crank up their cyber attacks to make a point. Let's break it down. Anonymous Sudan, one of these hacktivist groups, wasted no time. Less than an hour after Hamas fired their first rockets, they hit Israel's emergency warning systems. They even claimed to have taken down alerting apps in Israel. Talk about quick action, right? The Jerusalem Post, one major English-language newspaper in Israel, was also in their crosshairs. On the flip side, a pro-Hamas group called Cyber Av Free Engers had some tricks up their sleeves. They went after the Israel Independent System Operator, Noga, a power grid organization, and claimed they'd compromised its network and even shut down its website. They didn't stop there they also targeted the Israel Electric Corporation and a power plant. That's some heavy-duty stuff. Then, the pro-Russian group Killnet entered the scene, and they started launching attacks against Israeli government websites. These guys are known for causing major disruptions, so you can only imagine the chaos. But it doesn't end there. The Palestinian hacker gang, Ghosts of Palestine, invited hackers from around the world to join them in attacking private and public infrastructure in Israel and even the United States. Meanwhile, a group called Libyan Ghosts is defacing small Israeli websites to show support for Hamas. These hacktivists are using something called DDoS attacks to disrupt their targets. Some claim to have caused big disruptions, but you know how it goes some of these claims might be a tad exaggerated. For example, those hackers linked to Iran who said they attacked Israel's Iron Dome air defense system. Yeah, it's probably not as dramatic as they're making it out to be. On the other hand, groups like Killnet and Anonymous Sudan, who have ties to Russia, are notorious for launching super disruptive attacks. They've gone after major companies like Microsoft, Twitter, formerly X, and Telegram with massive DDoS attacks. And the pro-Israel squad. A group called ThreatSec said they've compromised the infrastructure of a Gaza-based ISP called Alphanet. Meanwhile, hacktivists from India attacked Palestinian government websites, making them go poof. But wait, there's more. A group named Garuna is all about supporting Israel, and Team HDP. They're targeting the websites of Hamas and the Islamic University of Gaza. Oh, and here's the cherry on top. In a report that Microsoft dropped last week, they talked about a Gaza-based threat group named Storm 1133. They're apparently going after Israeli organizations in defense, energy, and telecommunications sectors. Microsoft thinks this group is working to support Hamas. So, as you can see, the digital battlefield is just as active as the physical one in this ongoing conflict. It's a whole new level of crazy out there. Stay safe and make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to stay in the loop on all things wild and fascinating. Catch you in the next video.